Okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah, kuholoimala. Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweshai, Baha Shem Rekachadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to the Akim and Achwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Ahanan Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, also the greeting that I said in the beginning of the um this, this video is called Haloyum La Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, which is um all praises to the most high. His name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. Bahashim in the name, Yahweh Shai, his son. Which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. It's Yahweh Shai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And we do these lessons to let our people know, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that you are the true people of the Bible. You are the people that came out of Egypt with Moses. You are the chosen people that the Lord chose. And um, these other nations are heathen and they're going to have to pay for what they've done to the children of Israel. And that White Jesus Christianity is a complete lie. You know, we had to bring all those things out and let our people know because in the, in the last days, truth will come forth. See, the, um, the enemies are falling and the Lord is starting to show who's who. And the so-called white man, his biblical nationality is he's Esau, Edomites. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color. They're not white. We're not black. We're different shades of brown. All that pseudoscience, all those lies that they've told are being broken down because they're stumbling blocks, you know, and the Lord is breaking down those stumbling blocks. And I wanted to get into this lesson. I know it's um it's something simple to us brothers and sisters that have been into this truth for quite some time because we understand that we're not supposed to get tattoos. That's scriptural. But a lot of our people, there are newcomers that are coming into this truth and we have to do these um these basic lessons as well you know like my, the name of the channel that the lord gave me is hebrew israelite milk h-i-m him like the acronyms him hebrew israelite milk and generally i go into like milk type of um articles or milk type of um lessons or whatever you know what i'm saying to give the simple milk part of the scriptures before you get into the meat you know the, the deep parts the, the dark saying so to speak but this is, um, you know, a lot of our people don't know that they can't get tattoos. So this is um, an article from TMZ. You know, TMZ is one of those companies that really make our, our people look bad. They're the first ones that's buying videotape to, of any Negro, Hispanic or Native American that they can throw on their channel and, and, and basically accuse us. That's pretty much what they're doing. You know, they're, they're, they act as if they're the, the news news. But when it straight comes down to it, they make the most of their money off of our people, the, the, the demise or the fall of our people. And that's just TMZ, you know, if you've never noticed that, I mean, they go into other people. But when it comes to the degrading, you know, the, the, the simplest shit that got us looking stupid as hell, uh, TMZ go hard on our people, man. And that's not just TMZ. It's all these um, channels, man. But anyway, and that's a tactic of the enemy. That's a tactic of our enemy to make us look like we're not shit. But in reality, the scripture says that we are the, you know, a peculiar people, a, 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 a treasure to the Lord. You know, we're his possession, you see? And now it's starting to be seen or shown that they are the ones that's actually the savages. They're the ones that's doing all the damn, you know, um, all the, the chaos in the world. We're not at war with nobody. We're not dropping bombs on nobody. We're not um, 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 killing 30, 40,000 people and starving them out and all this different types of shit. We just some people that's, uh, uh, that's under, still in slavery under them. <laughs> just in the, in the horrible situations that they placed us in. But they try and make it seem as if we're the problem with the earth. And you have to really, um, you know, understand that. But um, let's go into this real quick. Like I said again, TMZ. This is um, Krishan or Christian, however she pronounces her name. Rock uh, said showed off some fresh ink last week that bared the mug of her on and off boyfriend. Now, why would you get a, a tattoo of a nigga's face on, on the side of your on your face? On your face, blatantly on your face. You know what I'm saying? Of somebody that you on and off with. You know, but that lets you know how destroyed we are as a people. And she doesn't think that. See, our people are very prideful and, and very, you know, up and high and mighty, you know. But the scripture says that a haughty um, spirit or proud spirit comes before a fall, roughly paraphrasing. She doesn't think that, OK, 
she can fall from this little bit of fame that she has and that she could be out here looking for a damn job at McDonald's and they're not going to hire her because you got your on and off boyfriend on the side of your damn face. Looking like some extra person growing out of your neck. That's just stupid, bro. But this is the, you know, this is, um, you know, the scripture talks about how we're a, a sodish people. Let me get that real quick. It's a lot. Bear with me real quick here. I was kind of looking up some other stuff. Um, it's that scripture. I think it's Jeremiah 4 and 22. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. It's been a minute. Yep, Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. See, and when you go off into this word sottish, let's go into it real quick. What that word means is it means stupid. Let's go into it. It means foolish, man. Stupid. Let me see here. Where is it at here? Here we go. H5530. Fool. Right? Silly. Foolish. Let's go into um the, the to be foolish, be a fool, to make foolish, to turn into foolishness. It just means just fucking stupid, man, basically, man. silliness man to be silly and you can't get no more sillier than this shit right here man this is silly <laughs> but look at her she got all them damn chains on she got her diamonds on you know what i'm saying she you know she's out here on that but she see the lord he, he he he'll set you up and he'll bring you down he can have you literally in the hood searching for a damn job at mcdonald's and they turning you down because you got all this shit on your face anyway and supposedly it's official. This uh, supposedly the tattoo shop, uh, I guess, came out and said that it's it's a real tattoo. I guess people, some people was maybe thinking it was a, a you know, a, 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 a you know, a damn fake one or whatever. Uh, but anyway, and supposedly it's some it's some back and forth between I think her and some other chick. Uh, she certainly seems happy waiting for him to be released. And we know Lack Camille is also st stoked. They tell us business has been booming for them ever since the ink job. See? So one of our silly ass women go and get a tattoo like this and then a bunch of other niggas go to the same tattoo place to get tattoos, which goes against the laws of you. How about you? We're not supposed to do that, man. You know? And I don't even have to play the video, but you can clearly see how stupid this shit is. This shit is stupid. <laughs> Straight up. Silly as hell. And I didn't even go into the comments. You know, you're going to, you know, more than likely, it's going to always be some so-called white people in the comments talking about how dumb this shit is. You know, they, 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 they look at, uh, uh, see, they, this is the reason why they, 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 they post a lot of this stuff to make it seem like, you know, you're just animals and savages. All our people are not like this. But overall, as a nation of people, we're pretty fucked up. <laughs> you know, we really do need salvation, man, from our Lord. But let me just grab the scripture that goes off into the law. And, you know, people be getting fucked up from those tattoos. Some people are allergic to stuff like that. You just never know what it's going to do under your skin. You know, you don't know if the needles are going to be clean. You don't know what's going on in the backdrop. But e anyway, this is a custom of heathen. This is not our custom. The Lord told us that the customs of the heathen are vain. We're not supposed to do what these other nations do. We can't eat what they eat. We can't drink what they drink. We can't do what they do. The Lord said, don't do what they do. That's the reason why we're in slavery right now. Idol worship, trying to be like every damn body except for the special people that the Lord created you to be. It's ridiculous, man. Well, let me just grab the quick scripture on it. I'm, I'm going to end out. And like I said again, uh, have to do these, these particular lessons because, um, again, everybody don't know. Because I never knew that um, tattoos was, um, I got, actually, I got one tattoo way back in the days, you know, and had I known any better, I never would have got it. <clears throat> so it's not like I'm a person that's standing here like, you know, I don't, you know, like, like I'm just up, up and all holy, you know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> again, like I said, I didn't know. But, you know, that's the reason why lessons like this has to be done so our people do know. You repent for the ones that you got and you don't get no more. 
It's that simple. That's what repentance is. You know, you repent for what you've done and you don't go back to doing that shit no more. You switch up, you change up, man. You do what the Lord said to do. You see, this is Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. And a lot of our people, you know what I'm saying? They print marks upon them. They, you know, they uh, uh, husband might die or their mom or somebody might die. And they got the, the rest in peace um, um, hookups on, tattooed on them with the, the, the praying hands, white Jesus emoji, you know, on their shoulder, on their back, you know, on their neck, you know. Miss you, mom. Rest in peace, daddy, and all this. Other. No, man. You're not supposed to do that stuff. The heathen do that. You see? The heathen do that. People that don't have no. See, the Lord gave us a uh, class. He gave us, um, 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 you know, rules and regulations as far as like being above. That's what the that's what the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible was really about. You know what I'm saying? To well, not all the way. Not just that, but one of the main things was it, it set set us up on a pedestal above all these other nations, because the scripture talks about how they would see our wisdom and be like, "That's a wise people." Therefore, we're influ we're influential people. Other people would see that and they, they would be attracted to it, and they would actually want to try and be like us, like how they they try and be like us now. Just think if we was out here, um, if we were reverse the roles. We wasn't just out here shooting basketball or, you know what I'm saying, throwing a goddamn football or, you know, rapping or any of that stuff. And we was actually, you know, playing classical um, instruments. We was a actually, um, you know, uh, doctors and scientists and mathematicians and all these different things, as opposed to just some nigga with, with their pants hanging off their ass and some chick with their cheeks out. If we was right, to, if we was doing or follow us. But because and, 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 and since we're so goddamn wicked, guess what? They they following us even in wickedness. But see, we get all that from the enemy. Th th those are not our customs. We was never like that before we came here, placing these uh, these fucked up situations, placed in a hood. You can't even you can't even talk to so-called black people, man, unless it's, it's some stupid shit. You don't want to you can't hold no intellectual conversation with no so-called black person. They don't want to hang out with you if you're trying to do something good. They calling you corny. Oh man, nigga, man, he's but you know, it ain't no fun to 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 you know. If they not seeing somebody getting their ass whooped, if they not watching a video of somebody getting shot at, if they not seeing somebody, you know what I'm saying, just on something silly, you know what I'm saying? That this is all our people do. If they're if it's not entertaining to them. That's all they that's all our people want is some damn entertainment. They're not sitting down. They, they, they won't read. They won't look at the news. They don't know anything about geopolitics. They won't check into stuff. And that's the reason why a lot of our people gonna get caught so off guard when shit hit the fans. Because as wicked as these so-called white people are, guess what? They watching the news. Guess what? They know who their enemies are. Guess what? They know when they're gonna strike. Niggas just in the hood, just uh oh, man, you know, let me hit the dispensary. Playing some whack ass music while they're on the way there. Blowing some blunt out the window, you know, blunt smoke out the window. The chicks even worse. Women, you can get sh the, the so-called black women. Oh my, I ain't gonna even get into it. But this is right here is your, your perfect example of, of, of the so-called black women right here. Ass cheeks out and doing stupid shit. Then you just had a baby. This what you doing? <laughs> God dang. Anyway, man. Oh man. Oh man, man, man. Yeah, okay. Well anyway though, you see what it is. You see what it is. Hey, but like I said again, I just wanted to just touch on this. Um this is not our culture, man. Get away from stuff like this. It's time to it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Because the Lord is about to come. All this stuff that you see going on, all this crazy shit going on, all this wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, famines and shit going on, pestilence going on. The so-called white man, he, he he's constantly in a damn lab putting together a, a germ for your ass. <laughs> Ain't no telling when he, what he's about to do next. You see what he just done the past two years. But what, what, what's about to be next? This man is out here trying to put goddamn um, 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 implants in people. So y'all better realize what time period we in, man. You see? 
It's lucky for the rent, but I mean, damn, this is it's just kind of you you're looking at some of this shit and it's just like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> like, wow. Romans 13 and 11. One of my favorite scripts right here. Romans 14 and 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we will believe. This chick is asleep. This one, she's so asleep. She's slobbing. She, she, you can clearly see. And this is, this is a lot of our people. I'm talking about sleep to the point of you can't hear the alarm. You don't hear your phone. You don't hear the damn the, 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 um, fire alarm going off. You don't hear the, the, the burglar alarm going off. You just slobbing. Motherfuckers then came into the house or, or, or you know, the, uh, come on, bro. Our people are into a deep, deep spiritual sleep, man. The ones that are somewhat woke, they won't get up off the bed. They still sitting there turning. Pulling the damn cover over their eyes because they don't want to see the light coming through the window. You see? Verse 12, it says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Cause this is this is complete darkness. You can you can clear you can clearly see that she's a you can just see the darkness in her. She's a you can see this is a dark person. Her 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 continent says it all. Her 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 moving about says it all. When you see, you know, videos and and and, and footage of her, it, it's just like it, it, look at this dude. The people that's in these videos with him, it's just all complete darkness, man. No edification is coming out of anything that they do at all except for how to be wicked as hell. That's it. That's all you're going to get out of it. That's all you're going to get out of it. Jake go hang out in places and crowds and mobs. The scripture says to follow not a multitude to do evil. And you'll have hundreds of these niggas just standing in one space until the, 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 the gunfire breaks out. Until you hear screams. And then they don't even get they don't, they don't run away. They take their phone out. And they run towards the danger and film. And this is the world that you, <laughs> you living in, man. But let's see how quick they're going to film the Lord when he's coming. They're going to be running, trying to curl up somewhere. And there's going to be nowhere to hide, man. So I just wanted to touch on that. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.